go. My ship automatically locked onto the source of the signals that disabled it. These were the coordinates. He needs keys. What is this stuff? Technology from my world. It amplified the energy beam that fried the controls of my ship. So now what? To track Banning to his master control? There's no hardwire connection. Banning's control commands can be coming from anywhere. So it's a dead end. I didn't say that. These are energy weapons. Put them on the bottom of each control box. Your world is sadly lacking advanced equipment that I need. But I managed to make do. On behalf of my world, please let me apologize. Apology accepted. took me to get this ride the way I wanted it. You wanted it like this? It's undercover. At least it was, and I had to pull you two out. Who would have pulled who out? Let's not quibble at a time like this. She's a goner. <coughs> Your vehicle is female? <clears throat> yeah, they all are. I mean, that's, that's what you say. Your vehicle doesn't want to continue. Really? I'll find another. You mind telling me what you two were doing back there? I guess we were at the wrong place at the wrong time. I guess we were all in the wrong place at the wrong time. What were you doing? Yeah, like I said, you know, it was just the door was open. I wandered in. <laughs> yeah, just carrying out some equipment. No, I'm in the electronics business. 
You know, you let them know that the government's secretly controlled by Satanists. Next thing you know, you're in a straitjacket and they're pumping you full of Thorazine. Happen often? Not often enough. Where'd you get this? It was free. Spider. Thanks for the help back there. Laura. Nathaniel. You were watching the installation when we broke in. Why? Because maybe I know something about the people who run it. Who are they? Can I trust you? We saved your life. Yeah, that could have been a setup. We should have left you there. We're looking for my brother. We think the people who operate the installation might be trying to kill him. Yeah, well, your brother's got himself in a heap of trouble. Look, I'm going to tell you something. And it's top secret, man. I mean, uh, you can't tell anybody about the location or the content. Have we ever betrayed you before? Let's go. That's how they fit in. See, but the satellite stuff is just the toenail of the big monster. I don't know exactly how they fit in yet, but me and my people are on it. What people? It is a lot of us who want to learn what's going on out there. And we find each other. Um, what do the Teletubbies have to do with it? Never mind that. Here, look. This Eternity is... Eternity Group. David Banning. How do you know so much about this? Banning's the one trying to capture my brother. He also tried to kill us. So you understand? There's a lot about these people I bet you don't know. The people at the center of this, Banning and some of the others, they're not like normal people. I mean, they're faster than normal people. They're smarter and they have powers. Talk to machines. I told you to think I'm nuts. I don't think you're nuts, Spider. You don't? Know? Hey, man, if you're interested, I could let you in on some of the real scoop. The stuff the government does not want to let you know. Alien photos, scrawny and gray. Alien diet, cow blood and battery acid. And here's the kicker. The twofold alien agenda. Destruction of humanity and mating with as many Earth women as possible. Really? Yeah, watch out. They'll be all over, honey, like you. <laughs> yeah, fine, laugh now. Just wait till you find yourself on the wrong end of an anal probe. Bider, when did you first learn of the tower installation? One of my people, Kenno. I should give him a call. Big time computer jock. His play is hacking into the NASA grid and scanning the energy spectrums. Well, about a week ago, he read a blast coming off the towers that was off the scale powerful. And it was enough to fry the sensors. You can fight a lot more than that. Does your friend know anything more about the installation? Well, he's been scouring the web for the last week. But they don't advertise, right? We'll stop by, check him out later. You expecting someone? That pizza delivery. You guys gotta learn not to be so paranoid. <laughs> hey, dude. He's a strange man. He's a lunatic. He knows a lot about betting. He'll be able to help us. Nathaniel, we shouldn't throw in our lot with him. And we certainly shouldn't tell him who you are. I feel uncomfortable deceiving him. I feel a whole lot less comfortable if this nut bar knew he had a living, breathing alien in his apartment. Everybody likes anchovies, right? Mm. You called? We've doubled security on all installations, but it's not enough. You want to be more proactive. 
I want you to plug all leaks to information. Hunt down Nathaniel and deliver him to me. Simply put. Not a simple task. And Breed, I want him intact. There's much I need to learn from his body. I'll go with him. with your toy. <clears throat> what did he just say? That he's becoming too impressed with his own power and might have to be killed. <laughs> Not in so many words. Kenno! Kenno! It's me, Bider. Oh, buddy. Oh, my God. What did he tell you he'd found? I don't know. He said he had a line on something, the manufacturer of the, the satellite equipment. He said they were connected. Autumn. What is it? It's a word inscribed on the circuit board back at the installation. Whoever this was manufactured the equipment, based on the alien designs. I'll check it out. We have to get out of here. You think who did this is still here? I know it. There they are. Come on. Wait. He keeps us here for emergencies. Do you know how to use this thing? I'll make do. Go. Come on! Here we go. Crazy Dom comes through again. Autumn Electronics. Satellites and tracking systems. Been picking up a lot of military and aerospace work the last year or so. Says Autumn's owned by this guy, Drennan Morgan. Drennan Morgan, he's a big time art collector. Yeah, it says here he's the patron of a showing on Arvin Street at the Belie Gallery. This may be a good time to capture him. Force him to tell us what he knows. Well, I think, you just, you just, I'm all for being direct, but you just can't walk in and kidnap somebody. He has the information we need. Right, and there might be a more appropriate way to get that information. Such as? Such as, this might be a good time for you to get a lesson in art appreciation. It's what moves the viewer. That's what makes him feel. I think I understand now. <sighs> what are you doing here? Listening to you. Watching you. I think there's a lot I have to learn about humanity. Hmm. Can you help me tie my tie? Sounds like a good deal. I think we can do it. Okay. 
That's all. Ah. Excuse me, but okay. There he is, Morgan. No, I'll see you later. Why would someone who appreciates art be involved with someone like Banny? Collecting art and appreciating it can be two different things. Your tie's crooked. You're blushing. I'm what? It's special, isn't it? You can see the energy in its brush strokes. You think so? Care for drinks, sir? No. His use of color is commanding. He looks like somebody threw paint at it randomly. <laughs> you might be the only honest person in this whole building. This whole show is garbage. He hasn't done a decent painting since he made enough money to buy his first Mercedes. So why are you involved with him? I don't want to devalue my investments. So you're an art dealer? No, hardly. No, as someone once said, we pursue art to be able to endure reality. My reality is much more mundane. I'm in the communications business, autumn electronics. That's exciting. My friend uh, Nathaniel, he's a, a painter as well. He's working on a, a space theme series right now. And uh, you're his agent? No, a friend. Laura Keating. Girlfriend? No, a friend. Well, if your friend is interested in space, he should come visit my plant sometime. With you, of course. I'll take you up on your offer. I hope so. Enjoy. I hope he doesn't ask to see my paintings. No offense, but I don't think he's interested in what you have to show him. take me up in my offer so soon. I thought I'd visit you fast before you forgot. Don't worry. I got much chance of that. <laughs> it's beautiful. The Nova Star Delineator Series. Totally radical electronic design. The most powerful retransmitter in the industry. You're looking at a whole new generation of communications technology. Within the year, we'll dominate the industry. Nodal compaction? Hyperwave transpondence. You know a lot about electronics for an artist. I know physicists wouldn't be able to tell that much from a cursory examination. Nathaniel's immersing himself. The stuff we have in our birds took years to fabricate, even after we had the designs. It's irreplaceable. Mr. Morgan to operations? Mr. Morgan to operations. Burdens of leadership. <laughs> for me in here. I'm still waiting to hear what you immerse yourself in. Good. It's connected to the mainframe. Let's hope he's needed for a while. The amount of data they have stored in here is incredible. Design details of the whole line of satellites, ground stations. If you wanted to see me, you could have made an appointment. What I need to see you is when I see you. What do you want? We had a break in last night at the DIS installation. I believe they'll try again throughout the organization. I need you to beef up security. There's nothing wrong with our security. Did I ask for your opinion? I told you to beef up security. I have guests. I'll look after it when they've gone. They go now. There's no research data. It's just fully designed systems fed in. There are technology fed to them by banning. Right. It's them. Help, 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 
could I know? Set the wing down. Boys, let's go. Next time I'll really hurt you. Everything's tied in too. Even the security systems. That's where we came in, and they're coming here. What are you doing? Accessing the security system. It's too late. They know we're here. And that's what I want them to continue to believe. You're still there. Where'd they go? They couldn't have got out. Very clever, Nathaniel. Do you see anything? A lot of the business the company does is selling standard satellite equipment. It's trying to pinpoint the sales of Theron-based technology. Got it. Although much of it is bought under different company names, the shipping address for most of it is the same. 2240 Branson Road. Perfect. I knew it would all fit. What fits? It's a decommissioned government building. It's the government, man. The government's in league with the lousy aliens. Do you see anything else? The equipment delivered to the location goes beyond simple satellite technology. There's transmitters and receivers, but it's also heavy-duty computer mainframes and imaging equipment. How do you read this stuff so fast? Once the system is deployed, it has the ability to override Earth-based control of all other satellites. All communications? Everything. Television. Data, weather, even spy satellites. And with the imaging equipment, there's not an inch on this planet he won't be able to see. Oh, hold it, hold it. I mean, if he has access to all this stuff, he could send his own material down the pipe. False news of breaking wars and disasters, corrupted data, and has the ability to change weather patterns. Where are you going? The man I'm looking for is in that building. The ones that will know him. We have to stop what he's doing. And not you, too. I'm with him. Don't tell me you're gonna give up the chance to see a conspiracy up close and personal. Hey, I'm the idea guy. I'm not action boy like your friend there. He's the one who said people are desperate for the truth. Hey, the guy who's still got all his parts attached. Kind of too bad. <laughs> We're thinking this one. It's the big one. What big one? Face facts, Mr. Dent. I'm not good with pets. Breed. Nathaniel was at Ottawa. If you had captured him, I assume that's how you would have opened the conversation? The idiot Morgan brought them in personally. And you let him get away. He was only with the equipment for a moment. We both know that's long enough. We must expect the worst. See that the center is prepared. I'll prepare it. Breed, do something right, please. <laughs> Mr. Dent, our art lover Morgan is about to retire as head of Autumn Electronics. See to that, please. I'll make it my chef d'oeuvre. Looks pretty busy for a decommissioned building. <laughs> Looks pretty busy for a theme park. We'll find an entry around back.
Less than half an hour, we should be online. We should be able to override all the major telecom sats within minutes. The encoded spy sats might take longer. We don't have longer. What the hell is that? It's a sensor. I'm tracking Bannock's technology. Man, I've been around. That's no sensor I've ever seen. The thing is full of surprises. With any luck, we'll be in and out before Banning's men even know what happened. What in and out? What the hell are you planning on doing? I plan to corrupt the core of the communication systems and wipe out the entire network. <laughs> oh, is that it? Just wipe out an entire satellite network? You have a problem with that? Yeah. Yeah, I just thought we'd, you know, start small, gather some evidence, take some pictures. You can take as many pictures as you want after we destroy it. Chill. He's one of them. How long till we're online? 23 minutes. The weird ass gimmicks. Your vehicle doesn't want to continue. You're one of them too. No, I'm human. Oh, I see what's going on here. No, 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 it's not some sex thing. Yeah, that's what he tells you. Yeah, I see the way he looks at you. I'm trying to help him find his brother and stop banning. Hand me the bag. Strategist, is that right? It's funny how you seem to present yourself to us. What? Huh? No small talk? Come on, I had something good to talk to you about. You know our system? It's going online in a few minutes. I know how your system works. I know what it will do. You'll have the ability to see anything. Anywhere. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, we can give it directions, too. Let's say you take a photograph, right? You scan in a computer. Your photograph, photograph of um, your brother. 
Yeah. Photograph of your brother! That system will turn over every rock in the world until it finds him. You won't find him. Oh, come on, kid. Bang's on his way over here right now, Pete. I tell you the great idea. We get your brother and we surprise Banning with your brother. What do you say? Huh? Your body is very valuable to us, Ethaniel. And Banning, he's coming over here to personally tear you apart piece by piece. <laughs> now what? You're gonna kill me or eat me or something? I'm not gonna eat you, Biter. The reason why we didn't tell you, Nathaniel, was an alien because we didn't think you could handle it. Well, I could handle it. That's what it's about with you aliens, isn't it? Lies and deception. Everything I told you was the truth. My brother was on this planet with Banning's original mission. He's trying to stop Banning from shifting your world into something that would support our existence. I'm trying to find my brother and stop Banning. Wait. You're definitely not into this drinking blood thing? No, but I think I might start. Hey, I'm just asking. <sighs> okay. This lock is simple. It needs electricity to keep us imprisoned here. <sighs> Biter, can you decode that? Watergate boys aren't the only ones who know how to go through a door. Okay. While you're doing that, I'll draw the current through my body. Uh, Nathaniel, the voltage will kill you. Maybe. But I figure Banning will probably do that anyway if you don't get out of here. Let me know when you're ready, Biner. Okay. Go! Nice going, Biter. Everything's operational. We're ready to go online. Help me! Kill me! Help! Hey, where's the girl? Don't ask me. I mean back there when he said Banning wants your body. Our bodies have shifted into these forms to survive here on Earth. I came later than Banning and the others, so I'm more advanced. Banning's looking for the secret so he can expand his own human body. Well, Banning's wearing out and your brother's wearing out too. We don't know how long Daniel's brother has to live. That's why we have to find him. Man, this is too much. You know, I'm like overloading here. Hey, those original forms, they involve like tentacles and all? What? What are you going to do to it? I don't know. They'd know if I wiped the Elmar course and register immediately. What is it? It's what Biter said. But about the tentacles? About overloading. I may not be able to wipe the core's memory, 
But I may be able to do the opposite. I'm going to make the course locations permanent. Well, I thought you said you're going to disable it. I am. When I'm finished, every piece of information the machine has processed will become permanently fixed to the core. That'd be the same as every piece of useless data that you have experienced through your life become permanently fixed in front of your brain. Your brain would fill up. <laughs> It'd explode. It's exactly what would happen. <laughs> we'll be in for a big surprise when they see this thing online. The system is ready. Should we wait for your arrival? The sooner the better. Activate it now. They're coming online. Enic 1, Cosmos 2344, NASA Control, Ted Sat, we've got them all. The amount of information we're processing is incredible. Hey, the hell's going on here? I don't know, something's wrong. No, it's impossible. What's impossible? The memory core, it's almost full. Shut it down! Shut everything hey, down! Hey, you're not shutting down nothing, you understand me? If the memory core overloads, it'll burn out. The system would take years to rebuild. I don't care, you're not shutting down nothing. What's going on, Breed? You do realize this device could have helped you find your brother. It's too dangerous in Benny's hands. I have to find another way. kill you, but one must indulge himself every now and then. Shut up, Lord. Go! Go! What'd you do? It's gone! I told you I wouldn't let you find my brother!
Man, look at this place. You haven't seen the best part? Oh, Mama, I'm home. Don't get too comfortable, Biter. Comfortable? I'm in heaven. Does this mean you don't mind hanging around extraterrestrials anymore? I suppose if you keep your anal probes to yourself, we're on the same side. I assure you we are. You know, one more thing. Now you Whalens probably know a lot more than we do, and is the Pope really CIA? He is, right? No, come on, I'm serious. I mean, he's connected to a bunch of big wigs and... Uh, 